Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. If you make one common mistake, you can spend thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Stay with us and we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. It will be super helpful video to any of you having a Toyota Sienna degeneration right here from year 2011 to year 2020. If you have one of those, you have a problem where brake lights do not work and you want to see what can easily cause that, what you need to check, which fuse, what else can cause brake lights not to work. All that guys will be covered for your convenience. In addition, we'll explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping. That way you do not waste your money and time and why it's important to always test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take things completely apart, we show you guys how to do electrical, mechanical, bodywork, a little bit of everything guys. If you have one of those vehicles that we're making videos on, subscribe. We will put quite a few videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. All together guys, on our channels, we have more than 12,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars. Now, also, if you need to buy any parts, to use at a good price, quick shipping, that way guys, you do not waste your money and time, we'll share in our videos where you can buy parts, tools, uh, fuses, relays, because some fuses guys and relays are special specific, especially for that Toyota Sienna, you have those special fuses right here. Uh, you also have that special integration relay right here and the other relays, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping guys, uh, because sometimes they could be also really hard to find. So let's go ahead and start on it now. Oh, brake lights, if they do not work, what do you need to check? First, of course, you need to check brake light bulbs if you have LED lights, okay? In some cases, it could be a bad brake light, but first we'll check fuses, guys, and we'll explain what else can cause that. So, you have two different fuse boxes on that minivan. We'll demonstrate on the 2014 model. We'll open the driver door, and if you look, guys, under the dash, Above the pedals on the left side, look there, you will see one white cover that looks like this one. Remove it and you will find a fuse box layout that will look like this one. Now, before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's important to always test fuses and relays. So, it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system I will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery, guys, okay, common mistake people make, it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect, reconnect first, if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules, how we know about that? We burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW, that cost is $2,000 guys, so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first, check it out for your convenience. So if brake lights do not work guys, which fuses we need to check, we're going to start by checking here guys, okay. Starting in this row, you can see right here, we start with fuse 1, 2, 3, 4, this is not used, you don't count it, 5, 6. Fuse number 6, very important fuse that you need to check. And then you need to check another one, which is guys, fuse number 14 right here. Now if the brake lights do not work, what else can cause that? It could be a bad brake light switch, that's the device on the brake paddle that when you press the brake paddle it detects that you press the brake paddle guys. So if you want to see how to test or how to replace brake light switch, we have videos on multiple cars on our channel, check it out for your convenience. In addition guys, okay, we have video how to test it as well, that takes only a few minutes. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching, see you next time.